All right, guys, I'm gonna do a very important garage must have on something that anybody that has a set of winter tires, track tires, uh, extra set of wheels and stuff laying around for any one of your cars, what do you do with them? There's only a couple of solutions. But if you don't think about those solutions, what do you do? You stack them up. I never really keep wheels and tires in my home garage just because they take up too much floor space. And everything in here I have on casters because I like to maximize the space that I have with all my equipment. So right now, I can't get to my sandblaster, my, my MIG welder, and my jet bandsaw in the back without picking up and moving all of these to the other side of the garage or moving them outside. So there's a couple of solutions to this. And like I said, you guys could go look them up online. The first solution I'm going to show you here, uh, these red poles. These things came out a hell of a long time ago. Seemed like a smart idea at the time, but that's not going to work for anybody that has performance uh, wheels and tires, especially something that's really wide. And you're going to probably need four of them. So in, in that case, you're going to take up the entire wall of having those on there. Also to consider, they use very, very small uh, lag bolts. And you're screwing those into 2x4s. And if anybody knows what a 2x4 is, it's junk. It's not that strong. It's not a solid hardwood. Uh, and then if some of these wheels and tires are like, you know, 50 pounds up to 90 pounds, like on some of the OEM stuff. So I don't feel comfortable having something that heavy mounted on the wall, which is four small quarter inch lag bolts into a two by four. It's just not a safe, um, safe idea. Next solution, uh, is the overhead mounted racks. These are great. These are really good, uh, popular in tire shops, race shops, race trailers, and all of that. The only thing I don't like about this in a home garage is that you're taking up a lot of space um, as far as like where you have to mount it. You have to mount it a little bit higher up. Also, you have the weight issue. Some of the wheels and tires could be, you know, 200 to 400 pounds for the set. And you have your wife, you have children, you have pets. If something was to fail, it could be catastrophic. It could actually kill you. Something else to consider. In order to get the wheels and tires up there, you're going to need a step stool or a ladder. And if you do that by yourself and you slip, you will either get killed or end up in the hospital. I just don't think it's safe for the home user. I mean, some guys do it and they, they like it fine. I like to have stuff mobile, easily accessible, one, two, three. Uh, the next item I'm going to show you here, these are great. These are, you know, a mobile cart. You could put two sets of wheels and tires on here. They're about 400 bucks. These are great. If you have the space, fine. That's an awesome solution. So then I was flipping through the Griot's garage catalog because I get 10 of these a month and they have a new, new product in there called the rolling tire cart. Store remove tires effortlessly. And all it is is a plastic um, injected molded dolly with a couple of casters and that's pretty much what it is. So then I started doing some research. I'm like 150 bucks from Griot's and then you got to pay the oversized shipping. So now you're at $180. Then I thought about making my own. Uh, either with a piece of quarter inch or three inch aluminum or steel in the casters. Then when I started factoring in the price of the material, plasma cutting it, the time, uh, everything else, I was like, you know what? I don't really freaking want to make a big project out of this. I just want something simple. So I started doing a search online and I found a bunch of these um, rolling carts and they're used for 55 gallon industrial drums. And they're, the cheapest one that I found was 125. Then you got to pay oversized shipping you're still going to be between $160, $180. I was like, you know what? I kept searching, kept searching. Lo and behold, I found the ideal solution. It does the same thing that this does for $35. Bucks. Can't find any distributor online. I found it on Amazon. Total fluke. I said, let me just roll the dice for $35. Bucks. If it doesn't, you know, if it's a piece of junk, I'm just going to send it back. Uh, free shipping. It actually got second day air ship from the state of Washington to New York. The shipping alone would cost me like $120 for something this size. So I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you exactly why it's so awesome and why you guys need to pick this thing up immediately before these things go out of stock. All right, guys, we're back. So this is the apparatus that showed up from Amazon for $35, bucks, prime, free shipping. Um, this thing is awesome. It's very, very well made, injected molded ABS plastic. This is not some fiberglass reinforced junk that's going to crack or, you know, cause an issue over time. It comes with really good polyurethane casters, very hard durometer. They all swivel and one of them is a locking caster, which is right here like you can see. It's got handles, 
you got all the protrusions here if you wanted to use a strap tie down. But the best part of this, and this is what you don't get with the Griots or with anything else, is this little compartment right here. Okay? And I'm going to show you why that's so useful. So this is made for lug compartment storage. And like I said, what do you do with lugs? Look what I do. I put them in plastic containers. I throw, up, throw them up in the wall cabinets. A lot of times you lose one. Um, that's just the nature of doing this. Uh, taking up space, you know, they're loose. So now with this little cubby, throw your lug nuts in there, put the cap back on, and it actually locks in, and that's it. Now you know when you do your tire and wheel swap, your lugs, your security lock set, everything is here. It's all, it's all con, you know, contained. So I'm going to put the wheels and tires on here. I'm going to show you how they fit, and I'm going to show you how I can move this whole thing around the garage easily. So this is the perfect solution. Super affordable, well-made. You guys got to get this, man. This thing is awesome. Uh, this is probably the best tire dolly out there as far as the price, the value, and this little storage compartment in the middle, that's just an added bonus, man. That thing is totally... Uh, super handy for anyone that's got wheel locks and lug nuts that you want to you know throw in there So let me turn the camera around and I'm going to show you guys how this thing uh, works all set up All right guys, we're back. You can see I got all four wheels and tires on the dolly without a hitch I can wheel them all around the garage easily. Let me show you now Okay So with one hand I can push my summer wheels and tires I could get to all my tools on the other side of their shop over here, and this thing is just a no-brainer. I mean, it probably would be safe to throw a, a, a tie-down strap on this. I'll probably do that tomorrow, but I uh, just wanted to show you guys a quick video as to why you guys need to pick one of these tire dollies up before these things go out of stock. So, there you have it, folks. I think this is the best solution to store your summer or your winter wheels and tires it's safe it's easy it's durable it avoids you having to stuff them in a corner of your garage blocking stuff in that you may want to get to one day because then you're going to curse and bitch and moan when you have to get to it um, and i just think for 35 bucks what are you going to get that's going to be this clever and works this well you couldn't make it yourself for this uh, that's for sure so, uh, like I said, guys, any questions, post them below, but I just want to shoot this quick video to show you guys that you guys need to get this. If you have your tires and wheels parked in the corner of your garage, taking up space, stack them up on one of these dollies. And if you have to get to something throughout the winter or throughout the year, just grab them and uh, you're good to go. See, so I'm going to show you here. Look what we got. Easy, clever, and safe. So I don't suggest any of those systems that you mount them on the wall or above your head. I just think if that was to fail, someone's going to get hurt, uh, whether it's you or someone in your family. I just think it's a liability screwing anything with weight, massive weight, uh, and something of this size into a junk imported 2 by 4 because that's all they are today in houses. But... Uh, there you got it, folks. That's the heavy-duty tire dolly off Amazon. I'm going to post a link in the description where you guys can pick this up. You'll get it in two days. They're going to second-day air this thing to you. They're going to lose money on every single one they sell. So uh, go out there and get these things immediately before they stop selling them at 35 bucks. See you guys soon. Autofanatic at Yahoo.com.